And uh, basically it says what you're doing is killing yourself. And Moses said to his father-in-law, because the people come to me and inquire of God, so I got to have them all stand in line and wait for me to pass judgment because they got problems, right? Amen. So Jethro says, oh, well, let me give you some advice, son. He said, uh, you know, this is his son-in-law. He said, why don't you pick out some men that know the Bible, some of these elders, some of these other men. Let's divide them up. First, we're going to start with tens. These are going to be the young bucks, all right? Ten guys, one guy here. Then we're going to have a hundred. One guy, a hundred. Then we're going to have a thousand. One guy, over a thousand. We're going to have another guy over 10,000. Okay? Pretty much the same thing. And Moses, in verse 25, chose able men out of all of Israel and made them heads over the people. Rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. This is our judicial system. Everything in this world came from the Bible. Our judicial system starts off in court. So you come before the judge, and let's say Seth's in charge of ten guys, right? And the guy goes, no, I don't like what you said. I'm going to take you to the higher court. So he goes to, uh, uh, hey, he goes to George, and George, he's got a hundred guys. Hmm. He says, uh, listen, this guy said this. I don't think it's right. What do you think? He says, well, you know, I still think that guy was right too. You know. And he says, no, 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 no. I want to go to a higher judge. So he goes to Johnny. He's got a thousand guys, all right? He's in charge over a thousand. All the judges, okay? So he's going from one court to the next court. All right? It's an appeals court. So you're an appellate judge. And so he's already appealed once. Now he's going to the second time and appealing again to you. Now I ask you the same question. And you go, I'm not really sure. I don't know what to do. We're going to have to take this to Moses. Moses is the Supreme Court. Alright? So the appellate court has now sent it all the way to Moses. Moses is now in charge of only hearing the cases that belong to the Supreme Court. He will no longer decide, you know, he stole my chickens. Okay? He's not hearing those cases. Alright? All that let somebody else judge, okay? He's listening to the ones, what should we do? Should we do this? Should we not do this? And so Moses handles all the decisions that nobody could figure out in the judicial system. We have the same court. Now right now, Trump is in office. There's one man that's empty. If he's lucky, he'll, he'll put a Republican in there. Uh, if uh, Hillary would have won, she would have put a Democrat in there. You know, you want somebody on your side, amen? Because they're going to stay on the court for 30 years. Right. All right? And, and so you got to get a vote. And so they put and appoint people, and it's Moses is the one that's choosing. Have you noticed that? Right. Who chooses the judges on the Supreme Court? Amen? The president. Amen? Moses is like the president. That's where we get our judicial system. He gets to choose what judges are going to take care of what cases. So if it's something small, I'll let one of the young guys handle it. 
We'll let him judge over these ten families. It's a bigger case, you know, and they, they appeal, they can go to the hundred, and they can go to the thousand, but finally, if it hits my desk, I will decide and make a decision. Yes, I, I rule in favor of Johnny's decision. He said that, uh, you know, you couldn't do that, so I'll, I uphold the, I'll uphold the decision. You cannot do that. Sounds pretty good, eh? Amen? Amen. Amen. It was not a dictatorship. You say, why are you bringing this along? Because later on, Somebody's going to fight Moses. Mm -hmm. And they're going to accuse him of being a dictator. Even though he has other people working there. As far as I know, there's one for a thousand, one for a hundred, one for fifty, one for ten. So he's got at least four guys working there. You know, I'm pretty sure there's multiples of four. Probably four hundred, maybe four thousand. I don't know. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. But they judged the people and they brought all the hard stuff to Moses. Mm -hmm. Chapter number 19. Boy, we're moving along real quick now, aren't we? We just hit a whole chapter. <laughs> amen? amen? I tell you, you got to read this by yourself too, amen, when you get home. Amen. Chapter number 19. In the third month, that's verse 1, Moses goes up to God, verse 3, goes up to the mountain. Thou shalt say unto the house of Jacob and tell the children of Israel, you have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. You remember the jello? Strawberry, lime, lime, okay? Mm -hmm. Amen. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine and you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation now if you read the book of revelations if you've never read the book of revelations it's a very scary book but there is a verse in there that says king that, uh, that for christians that we shall become kings and priests Amen, King Amen. George. Amen. 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 Priest Johnny. Amen. 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 That's a pretty good title. Amen. I'm saying, I, I like that. Amen. Amen. King I like the titles. Amen. Amen. Yes. And, 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 and <laughs> Moses called all the elders of the people and laid before the face as all these words which the Lord commanded. Verse seven. And verse eight. <laughs> <laughs> I love this verse. I love this verse. And all the people answered together and said. All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. No, you won't. Amen? Amen. You're a liar. Right. You're a stinking liar. Amen? All you people have come together and you'll all lie. Mm. Amen? You lied to the preacher. You lied to God. You lied to your wife. You lied to your children. You lied to your grandchildren. You lied to everybody. You told them you were going to keep the law, but you were a stinking liar. Mm. You know what a liar hates to be told? He's a liar. You're a liar, that's right. <laughs> you got that one right on there, that's right. A liar hates to be told you're a liar. Right. Verse 9, And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear what I speak unto thee, and believe thee forever. And Moses told the word, the, the word to the people. He said, go unto the people, sanctify them. In other words, make sure they take a bath. Let them wash their clothes. You know, back then they didn't have running water. So sometimes they might go a week without taking a bath. You say, how do you know that? Back in the 1600s, when the King James Bible was made, they put powder. They had powdered wigs. You know why? Because they didn't take a bath. Amen? And they smelled. A a amen? That aren't you glad we're running water? Amen? Somebody say amen. 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 Even if it's a cold bath. Yes, amen. At least it's water. A amen. 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 So, he tells them, get ready. Be ready the third day. He says, I'm going to come unto down to the side of the people on Mount Sinai. It should be set bounds. Uh, the people can only go so far. There's a boundary. Anybody that touches 
goes past the boundary, it's going to die. Mm -hmm. You say, why? You cross the line. Right. Amen? Excuse me. <coughs> and I shall not hand a, tu a hand touch it, or you'll be stumped. <coughs> or shot. Whether it be beast or man, whatever. When the trumpet sounded the law, thou shalt come to the mountain. And Moses went down and sanctified the people. The people all take a bath. They get ready. And then he tells them, uh, I don't want you having any, um, well, let's get into adult uh, discussion. No, 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 no hanky-panky. Amen. No hanky-panky for three days. Amen. And, and it came to pass on the third day in the morning, there was thunder and lightning and thick clouds upon the mountain, and the voice of the trumpet exceeded loud. So all the people that was in the camp trembled. Why? They just heard from God. Uh, they were scared. Scared to death. And the Mount Sinai was all together on smoke. So here you are surrounding this mountain. You can't cross the line. Amen. You know why you don't want to cross the line? You might catch on fire. Amen. Because, I mean, there's smoke everywhere. Amen. And there's all this going on. And then the smoke is a furnace. And the whole mountain quake. There you are on top of a mountain. You're scared to death. And what happens? Earthquake. Mm. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by voice. And the Lord came down upon Mount Zion, top of the mountain. And the Lord called Moses on top of the mountain. Moses went up. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down, charge the people, lest they break the, through the Lord to gaze, and many of 